All right. Good evening. And, and thanks to all of you who have joined us. And I know there's a lot more people coming in, uh, given the, uh, the registrations that uh, took place leading up to this event. Um, but as I've mentioned to all of you, I am going to record this session as we're doing it live. So I'll make that recording available to anybody who who would like to look at it again or for potentially for those folks that couldn't join us tonight. And we'll take a look at it in the days ahead. So. This, the topic we're going to cover tonight uh, is one that I think a lot of folks in a job search don't really know about. Um, the fact is that there, there are not a lot of free things out there, but the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act is one of them, and it's funded by our government, which is fantastic. Um, and it's an opportunity that's been set aside every year for many years for people that are in a job search. And so I, I'm glad that all of you have you know, taken a little bit uh, of your evening. We're going to go through some material uh, and, and share with you exactly how you can potentially qualify for the free training. Um, and of course, I've got an expert here with me, Dennis Muller from Microtrain, which is the largest training company in the great I am going to ask if everybody could please just mute your microphones so that we don't get any back, background noise. Um, that would be really helpful. But if you do have a question, feel free to chat it in. Put it into the chat. And the one request that I have is that when you start typing your question, put the word question in all caps, because I know there may be folks here that are exchanging backgrounds with one another. And I want to be able to distinguish between those people that actually have a question that they, they want to address to either Dennis or myself from other uh, chats that may be you know, in the queue. So again, just write the word question and, uh, and we'll move on from there. So before I, I turn this over to Dennis, I'm just going to cover a couple quick things with you. For anybody who's not yet a member of NSENG, I encourage you to do so. The membership is free. We are the largest job search organization in the United States. We have over 11,000 members, but most importantly, we have more than one member landing a new job every single day. So you can get into this organization if you're not here yet uh, for free. And what you're going to get with the membership is access to two of my webinar recordings. We have a dedicated uh, uh, spot for anybody who becomes a member. You're going to get your own My NSENG webpage. Those recordings will be sitting in there for you. And of course, there's, there's opportunities for you to exchange ideas with so many people that are in a job search. I've got events like this going on every few weeks. On every activity that I, that I do run, um, I, I record it so that I can make it available to folks. In addition to joining NSENG via our website at nsenginc.com, I encourage you to also join our LinkedIn group. It's a very active group. It's an opportunity for you to share ideas, exchange things with other folks that are in a job search. But of course, we've got 3,000 people in this group who've landed great jobs. We also have, uh, from time to time, individuals and uh, companies that are putting jobs out there that are available. So I encourage you to come on in, take a look at what's going on in the LinkedIn group. In addition to that, I've got a library, an extensive one, of 17 on-demand webinar recordings on all different aspects of job search. Everything from resumes, LinkedIn profiles, ghosting, brain training, uh, age discrimination, and how to overcome it, how to interview and network better. And so come on into the website, take a look at them. They're, they're all sitting right there, uh, available for a purchase. Um, and you know, it's it's a very extensive you know portfolio of different topics on job search. Those are all about ninety minutes each. I also have three on-demand workshop recordings. These are each three hours each. They take a very deep dive into different topics. Some of you may be aware that I applied with the U.S. Patent Department for a trademark on my "What the Hell" approach to job search. The concept being, what the hell do you have to lose by doing things that other job seekers are not doing? Because so much of the job search game is about standing out, separating yourself from other candidates, making yourself visible, and having a value proposition that attracts companies to you. You can't lie idle on the sidelines and hope that things are going to happen for you. I've created 13 what the hell moves that make things happen to you because of what you're doing proactively. In addition, I do, I do an entire three-hour session on maximizing the value of LinkedIn during your job search, how to search engine optimize your profile so you get a lot more traffic into your profile, and how to use the platform. I've done a lot of surveys, and on average, less than 40% of what LinkedIn can do for a job seeker is known and understood by a job seeker. 
The last piece is about how to put together a job search plan. We've all had jobs where we've had to put together a plan. Same thing's true for your job search. Now, one of the, the, the exciting things about the, these uh, recordings, uh, particularly these workshop recordings, is I effective today, I discounted each one of these three workshop recordings uh, 30%, and that's going to run us all the way through the entire uh, month of February. And, uh, and so I urge you to take a look at, uh, at those various topics. Our next event is going to be a three-hour workshop on my what the hell approach to job search. So even if you purchase the recording now or anytime between now and the 15th of February when I'm going to do this thing live, you actually will get access to the previous recording. And then with every event that I do, I just replace the old version with the new version because I'm constantly adding new content to it. Now, as an added plus to this particular workshop, you're also going to get for free a 40 minute recording on how to build out your target company list. So put this date down Thursday, February 15th from six o'clock to nine o'clock central time. And if you've got any questions on this, please feel free to email me at martygilbert1 at gmail.com. Additionally, I'm very active on LinkedIn. I myself joined LinkedIn back in 2004. I have over 30,000 LinkedIn connections. I post a lot on LinkedIn, probably two or three times a week. If you want to see what I'm posting about job search, and particularly the job search advice that I'm sharing with folks, go to my profile, click on that bell that you see right up here, and you will then be notified every time I post something on LinkedIn. And of course, you can look at all the history that I've done on LinkedIn by putting in to the search bar, hashtag Marty Gilbert, and it will then show you the hundreds of posts that I've had over the last several years. So with that in mind, I want to introduce you to Dennis Muller. Now, Dennis is the co-founder and CEO of Microtrain. Microtrain happens to be headquartered here in the Chicago area. They've been in business for over 25 years, uh, very well established and have helped many people improve their resumes and their LinkedIn profiles because of the training and certifications that they've got. And it's also helped a lot of job seekers to fill in some gaps that they might have that they wish they had. And now they've gotten training through a company like Microtrain at absolutely no cost to them. I've had uh, over a hundred people from NSENG get trained. I know that we've got some of them on the on the line with us tonight, and it, it's great to see them taking advantage of these programs. Um, what the focus of tonight is going to be, because Dennis is located here in the state of Illinois, he can provide this service to anybody who's a resident in Illinois. But for those of you that are out of state, not living in the in the Illinois area, don't worry because there are other companies in other states like Microtrain, and Dennis is happy to put you in touch with some of them, or at least provide you with a way to find them, because um, every major city has got them. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but the process is what you want to understand, and that's what we're, Dennis is going to share with you tonight. Um, so while we're talking about anybody you know who can tap into Microtrain, mm -hmm. uh, the only requirement is that you be living in the state of Illinois, but everything that Dennis is sharing with you also applies to other companies out of state that do a similar or the same service. So with that in mind, um, I'm going to turn this over to Dennis Muller. Again, if you've got questions, you know, please just you know, put it in the chat. I'll address the questions once Dennis is done with the presentation so that we don't waste time trying to answer some questions that maybe he, he's going to cover in the material uh, with you tonight. So with that in mind, Dennis, I, I turn it over to you and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, everybody. I hope everybody can hear me. My name's Dennis Muller, of course. Hey, don't mind me. I'm in my man cave. Don't hold it against me. I'm a Cubs fan, so thank you in advance. Uh, again, welcome to the web webinar here today. Um, question is, well, why am I here? Do I need training? How's training going to help me get back to work? What is we all? How does it work? And that's what I'm going to answer here today. So, so my objective on this webinar here is I'm going to give you a 30,000 foot view of overview of what we all is. And I'm going to have a call to action. I'm hoping to compel you to take the next step with me. I'm going to hold your hand all the way through this process. And we're going to see what happens at the end of the line. First question I get is Dennis, this is great. Training is good. I don't need training. I have an MBA from University of whatever. That may be true, but we all have blind spots and training can help address that. But more importantly, and this is where Marty's an expert in that, is, is marketing yourself. 
we all need to bring a new tool to the party, so to speak. So I'll touch on that, deep dive down a little bit later, but what is WIOA? WIOA is the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. It's pretty long winded. Some people call it WIOA, I call it WIOA. It's a federal back to work program. The program is available nationwide, run by the US Department of Labor. And it's currently funded nationally at over $3 billion a year with a B. And states are funded based on two criteria, population unemployment percentage. Illinois, we have the third largest city in the U.S., pretty heavy population. Illinois received over $100 million in this workforce funding. And it's run by agencies in the local workforce areas or zones that, that based on population and workforce needs. And, and I want to talk about how we all works and more importantly, where do you want to go and how do you go from here? So uh, next, Marty, please. Thank you. So again, the we all, I kind of jumped ahead here, helps job seekers connect with companies that need your skills. You're obviously bringing skills to the table, but you have an opportunity to not only learn more skills, but Microtrain focuses on globally recognized certifications or specifically vendor specific, so to speak. Um, in the business world, we have project management certification, so more than then we have technology and so forth. The WIOA program nationally focuses on training in what are considered growth areas for employment and jobs. There's about five or six what they call sectors, including uh, logistics, uh, healthcare, obviously there's growth, we're all getting older, right? Um, this is tech services and, and so forth. But they have this WIOA grant they call it a scholarship training grant, whatever you want to call it. It's funded by the U.S. Department of Labor and it's available to you. We have to qualify and we'll talk about that. There's a minimal qualifications, but we'll certainly go for that. Next, Murray. So how's the program work? A lot of moving parts here, but it starts with you in the middle. This is about you. So you're going to partner with a workforce agency at large in your state, probably Illinois. And in Illinois, that's known as an Illinois WorkNet office. Sometimes we call it a workforce office. It's not your unemployment office, but a workforce office. It's known as Illinois WorkNet. It's a network of workforce offices. In other states, it has a different name. But they call it the American Job Center, or AJC. And then you're also going to partner with a training provider partner. And that training provider partner can be a college or university if you have an interest in pursuing a degree. It could be your local community college. It could be a private training organization like us here at Microtrim. We focus on employment. How quickly do you want to land and get back to work? But I want to give full disclosure. Everybody here has customer choice under the WIOA system and where you do training. And I hope it's us. We'll figure that out later, though. And then there's a map there of our local areas. Illinois, for example, is broken up in zones or areas. And each of those are run by a workforce board locally. And then they have what are known as these, these Illinois WorkNet offices within, within those zones. You can imagine there's a lot in Cook County, Illinois, for, for, for example. And of course, it all comes back to you. So a lot of moving parts, sir, but I wanted to give you a visual on that. Next, Marty. So there's a couple of ways to qualify for a training grant here, grant scholarship. Um, you're classified in two areas. You're either unemployed and collecting unemployment insurance. That's known as a dislocated worker. And then not to get down in the weeds, but we have what's known as a, adult. And those are for professionals like us, that would be somebody that's exhausted their unemployment or maybe didn't qualify for some reason. It could be low income or, or whatnot. But nonetheless, there's two categories or two buckets of funding. 1A, 1D, and the workforce agency will figure out which category you fall into. There's a little bit of a gray area, but nonetheless, it's A, A or D. I want to be very, very clear here. This training grant, if you're currently collecting UI benefits, unemployment insurance benefits, this will not affect your unemployment. It will not jeopardize it. Nobody in their right mind would give up their source of income to do free training. It doesn't make economic sense. And even the U.S. Department of Labor recognizes that. So they will not penalize you for accepting this training grant scholarship to upskill, retool yourself, or maybe even reinvent yourself professionally. And nonetheless, so one would Next, Marty. So how the services work? I have a funnel here. And 
this models nationwide, but specifically in Illinois, the Illinois Working Office, they have a kind of a three-tier process. There's an initial assessment known as a core service. These core services uh, include uh, assistance and a resume, maybe. It's what I call top-level services. Professionals here, they might not be something we need, but it is available. It's available for everybody. Everybody can get service at the core or fundamental level, any workforce agency here, here in Illinois, really nationally. And uh, if you think things were a lot easier pre-pandemic, now things are done kind of virtually, but nonetheless, services are available. Then there's more of an intensive service in the middle there, or comprehensive, and that's where we're going to look a little bit deeper. Well, I'm interested in training. Well, at that point, they're going to take a hard look. They're going to want to know. They want to know your story, basically. You know, how long have you been out of work? Were you laid off? Did you resign? You know, did you quit? Whatever it may be. Um, and then our objective is to get to the bottom of the funnel where the train grant services are. And that's where we have what we call follow-up services and skills-based training. The U.S. Department of Labor measures the success of these workforce offices, Illinois WorkNet offices, based on if the individual, meaning you, gets back to where it becomes what's called gainfully employed. So, and we're going to do that through training. So there's a funnel. Everybody's going to go through this process depending on the agency that I eventually connect you with, it might go a little bit faster than others, but nonetheless, it's a kind of a three tier process. You don't know, they don't say, Hey, welcome Dennis to core services. I just want you to know visually that it's going to go through a three-step process here. Next Marty. Thank you. So all of our training pre pandemic, we had instructor led training that was live in the classroom. We had locations in downtown Chicago loop. North Suburban Deerfield and West Suburban Lombard. Now we've consolidated to Oak Brook, Illinois. But guess what? I don't care if you live in Zion, Illinois, or Rockford or Springfield. You can attend our training because we're using this platform here via Zoom. It's live training. We have a subject matter expert or a facilitator to deliver the training. So our process is eventually we're going to put together a training plan. We have to figure out what's going to work for you in regards to training. You're going to put together a package of training. You're going to earn professional industry recognized certification. Those of you that already are certified in something, you know exactly what I mean. Very common in the IT space. We see it in business services and, 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 and so forth. Um, average micro training clients are going to earn three or four of these certifications. I'll deep dive in a minute. Everything's included in the WIOA grant scholarship. We have a learning management system to attend training via Zoom. We used to email out the links that didn't go too well. I don't know, Marty, if you ever had anybody bomb your Zoom room, show up unannounced, but that's not good. So we kind of lock it down. Uh, all in the meantime, you're going to continue to look for work. And what I mean by that is you're not going to get penalized for obtaining gainful employment or getting hired in the middle of your training program. I don't care if the program is 30 days or six months, even on a part-time basis. You're in this lane here, pursuing employment and getting hired. You're in this lane with micro training and doing training. And maybe you get way ahead and you're hired or maybe you do training. It doesn't matter. They won't pull the rug out from under underneath you. So as I have right there, if you're hired, you can attend training part-time evening and or weekend. We can build a custom schedule for you because all of our trainings are standalone training events. You go to a college or a university, that's semester format. You know what that is already. Our trainings are just standalone training events in itself. Next, Marty. So here's an example of some cool training. We have a lot of great training here. Lean Six Sigma Greenbelt, which is a business process improvement certification, project management, Agile Scrum, a lot of tech. If you're a tech professional, it's all in the cloud, right? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cloud. Uh, um, there's even some graphics, even more a graphics designer, or Adobe platform. What's this chat GPT? I don't want to do that. I hear all the time, Dennis, the robots are coming. They're here already. So we have a certification for that. We can keep going on, digital marketing. You can even go fundamental. Let's go Microsoft Office. Workforce and the wheel of training grant will cover this. We have to build a package of training that meets the requirement of workforce and meets the dollar cap uh, logistically of where you're at. But I just want to give you a sample here of, of trainings that are available to you. And we're going to figure it out and get that dialed in at a later date. Next, Marty. 
So here's an example of what you're going to save. This is retail pricing of trainings, six segments, 1800 bucks. Project management, that's kind of a big deal, 2300 One of my biggest corporate clients, you may have heard of the company, Walgreens in, in Deerfield. They used to be a big customer. I was used to buy all this PMP training. They stopped. And you know why? Because companies aren't investing in training significantly. It's hard to get upskilled and, uh, and trained up, so to speak, in your organization. A lot of organizations offer tuition reimbursement. But typically, it's for degree granting. So this is an opportunity for you to get some training at no cost to you, paid for by we all on the workforce system at large. So again, some examples of training, what you say. And then the right column, Marty has it right there, zero cost to you. We're going to figure out what three or four pieces of training are going to work for you. Next, Marty. So there, there are so many people in the NSC and or organization that have taken advantage of the programs that Dennis and his team offer. And they come from all different professions, all different industries. And, and we've got folks that have gone to schools, whether they're in the Midwest, out on the East Coast, West Coast. Um, it, there's no end to the way in which you can take advantage of these programs. And what I really love about this is that it's, it's our government at work doing things for those people that are in need, right? You know, Dennis is going to get paid by the government, which means he can pass this along to you at no, absolutely no cost. And we have so many people in this organization that have been able to improve their marketability into companies that are of interest to them because they got the appropriate certification or they learned about how to use, you know, business intelligence and data and analytics and other other tools that might be software driven. So there's, there's always opportunity for anybody in a job search to improve their, their ability, you know, to make themselves more desirable by, by companies that are of interest to them. And, and this is one easy way to get it done at, again, at, at no cost. Very good. Thank you. So next steps, I have a call to action for you. I would like you to go to our landing page, microtrain.net slash NSYNC, complete the form. I'm going to ask you to upload your resume. I want to learn a little bit about your professional background, what you want to do. You can copy and paste your LinkedIn address. We'd love to connect with you. Again, I'm Dennis Smollett. Let's connect. Uh, um, our objective is to connect you eventually with a workforce agency. But what we're going to do is we host live webinars that go much deeper in the weeds here. And we're going to talk about how to connect you with an agency and how to get the process started. Again, I want to be clear, you have customer choice, but I'll be honest with you, I'm hoping because I'm giving you the entire blueprint here, you take a hard look at what I have to offer, so then thank you so much. But um, again, I want to reassure everybody here that when you're in training, they're not going to take it away. Get a lot of questions, Mario and I are going to kind of go back and forth here about the qualifications, and uh, we're not going anywhere, we're going to be here, so... Uh, so again, you're going to attend our live webinar, but I need I need to be able to get a hold of you. So I'm asking you to please go to that web website URL slash ensing. Let's connect. Give me your resume. Give me your information. We'll go forward from there. Then next, Marty. Available training funds is what I was. Well, what kind of money can I get? Where's my free training, Dennis? Well, it's free, but we have to qualify, obviously. But it's a big spread here, five to $10,000. There's an example right there of some counties. If you're in Will County where I live, yeah, it's a little skinny right now maybe because they shifted the funding around. But average recipient is going to get about $8,000 in training. You can get in a lot of training with that. It's about three or four standalone courses that we stack. And the real takeaway is you have an opportunity to earn professional certifications, again, at no cost to you. Now, when they award you a grant, they don't write you a check and say, hey, have fun, go buy training. <laughs> then what they do is they issue, a, it's called a voucher. And the technical term is an ITA, an individual training account. It's like a PO. And then you designate your grant to your education provider of your choice. Again, a college, university, private health training company. And just for clarification, Here's the great news. You're not going to get slammed with a 1099 at the end of the year. This is not a taxable income. You're not going to get hit a $8,000, $9,000 tax bill. You don't have to report it as income. It's literally free. No strings attached. It, it, it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the best kept secrets of our great federal government, I always say. We always been around 
since the 1930s, since FDR. It's had different variations of it. It used to be called WIOA until about 2013, the Workforce Investment Act, WIA. Then they, re they renamed it to the Innovation and Opportunity because because they want to innovate. They can make they can do things on the fly and, and more of it's an opportunity for everybody. And I hear all the time, Dennis, I'm a brain surgeon and I can get some training. Well, we're going to deep dive that a little, a little bit later in we'll and, and our, and our own microtrain hosted webinar. But if you're unemployed, I think I can help you. And here's what's going to happen. I hear it all the time done. So what if this doesn't work for me? Well, here's the thing. We're going to get in line. We're going to try. We're going to see what happens. We got about a 90% success rate in getting people in line. Because I only want to work with individuals that want to pursue this. And more importantly, we're going to have a conversation me and my team, and we're going to figure out if this works for you, and you can make an informed decision from there. I'm so, so excited to work with everybody. Marty, next. Okay. You know what, Dennis? I think at this point, we're going to open it up to some of the oh, questions. Great. Okay, thank you. Add it in here. Um, uh, so I, I see there's a, a message here from an individual who would like to get a list of the WIOA-approved training companies in California. So I think what I would suggest, uh, James, um, would you email Dennis Okay, at dmuller at microtrain.net and just tell him that you attended this session and ask him if he can, you know, put you in touch with either a list or maybe, you know, some entity in California that can then move you in the, in the right direction. I would definitely do that. I would be honored to do that. I'd also love to connect with you on, link, on LinkedIn. And uh, here's the thing. California is very generous with the workforce funding, so I'll make sure I connect you with the perfect agency. Thank you, Marty. Okay. Now there was a message here from Nancy. She said she filled out the form, uh, but hasn't heard back. So Nancy, my apologies. I saw it. I got bombed with email. I saw the name here. I'm like, oh no, I didn't circle back with Nancy. I got you. I'm in the, I'm working tomorrow. I'll give you a call tomorrow. I promise. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you in advance. Appreciate it. All right. Here's another question. Um, how do I get information on training funds in New Jersey? Okay. Same thing to, to you. Would you just send uh, Dennis a, a quick email? Uh, tell them that you're looking for uh, fir uh, firms that uh, are in the New Jersey area that might provide the, ser the service that Microtrain does, and he'll be able to provide you with some direction. Um, here's another question. Uh, uh, what if uh, you're in the middle of training and you land a job? Okay, Do you have to withdraw from the training program or are you able to complete it? This is exactly what Dennis was talking about earlier. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you don't have to walk away from the training. OK, you take take that job. OK, you started the you started the training before you you accepted the job and you can see the training through to the end. And, and Dennis, correct me if I'm wrong. You, you've you got, you know, flexibility for people to complete the training in the evenings, for example. Or Absolutely. Just to be clear, everybody, I obviously not by choice. You have the most precious commodity, which is time. So you want to kind of front load your training. But if you get hired, we can make a pivot. We'll shift you to evening and or weekend training. You take your training grant scholarship to community college, they can't pivot, obviously, because it's already locked in place. We do that, and we take a lot of pride doing that. Furthermore, if I can add, Marty, um, Workforce likes to have individuals complete their training program in six calendar months. We extend it as a professional courtesy an additional six months and give you a full year to complete your package of training. And, and again, that's a value add. No, that's great. Great. Here, here's another question, uh, very specific. Um, do you have any programs for quality assurance automation uh, as I need to expand my knowledge in that area? Area. Great question. Um, the workforce system at large has different trains. That, that's not something that I'm an expert in. So there's a, obviously if somebody wanted to go into healthcare or drive a truck, as Mario and I were joking about earlier, uh, we, we don't do that. But I can certainly connect you with a workforce partner. But more importantly, when I connect you with an office, if you feel that the training I have is not a fit for you, you can work with the Illinois WorkNet office directly and they'll connect you with an organization that has the exact training you want. And speaking of that, Mario, if I can elaborate further, um, this training is not a magic bullet. So I like I always ask those in job transition to kind of be open-minded. If you can kind of get some training, e even if it's in some what I call edge areas, there's nothing wrong with that. You're not going to find it's going to be very challenging to find exactly what you want because there's some trainings that there's no vendor in the entire state of Illinois that's approved on a wheel for whatever specific piece of training. So I'll be quiet. Thank you, Mary. 
Yeah. So one thing I would su suggest to all of you is go to uh, microtrain.net and take a look at their programs. I mean, they, they, they've got over a hundred different, you know, courses and uh, certifications. Uh, and so, they, and they're they're all categorized. Uh, and so you, you might see some things in there that you hadn't thought about that also um, might be an opportunity for you to get trained. Um, here's a question, Dennis, uh, anybody who would uh, see here. Uh, oh, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Uh, okay, I live in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Do I qualify for these trainings? Um, I, I think the same thing there. Uh, Dennis could put you in touch with somebody in that in that area, um, and and then you can make direct contact with a a local Pennsylvania uh, training company, and they they could tell you what it would take. But the qualifications that you know, Dennis, why don't you just talk a little bit about you know what what does it take to make yourself a more qualified candidate to be approved for WIOA? Are they looking for certain things? Well, one, one thing that they put a priority on and is what is known as a dislocated worker. That's that 1D we saw in the previous slide. So if you're in your six-month window of collecting UI benefits, unemployment insurance, that, 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 that's a huge takeaway there. Um, if you're not, no harm, no foul. We still connect you with an agency. It may take a little bit longer to get funded, but, but, but the work, but they're going to ask, what have you been doing for the last six, eight, nine months? It could be, well, I had severance. That's fine, too. As long as we have a story, we're going to help you formulate that story for the workforce agency. Make sure we have that button up really tight. Um, yeah, okay, so here's a comment. I'm going to repeat the website, okay? Where, where I would like all of you to go is microtrain.net forward slash N-S-E-N-G. This is a special landing page that's been set aside for NSENG members, or it, it can be any if any of you who are, for example, from the state of Illinois, and if you're mm -hmm. not uh, yet an NSENG member, you can still go there. Um, and there's a form that you can complete. Um, and then the, the folks on in Microchain will be alerted and then reach back out to you to, you know, to explain to you about the training program that they've got that can help you complete the, uh, the grant application much quicker. Um, so, Dennis, I, I'm going to ask you a couple other questions sure. here um, that that I think might be on the minds of some some people. You know, what what are you know maybe three or four of the most or more popular courses or certifications that you've seen people gravitate towards? Well, if you're a business professional, it's all about project management. Mm -hmm. And I hear it all the time. Well, Dennis, I've been a project manager for ten years. Well, you're certified. Well, I don't really need that. Well, it's really hard to convince an employer that you don't have, you know, how do you get around that? And that's known as a PMP or a project manager professional. But we're in a world where we have to have something called agility. And it's known as agile. Agile scrum. It's taken from the term of English football where you get in the middle and scrum over a ball. So we have a stand up meeting every day and talk about what we accomplished the day before. It sounds very tedious and monotonous but it avoids the bane of all project known as project creep. The longer a project is, the more it will get off track, so to speak. And that's known as agile scrum. And we have two flavors of agile. We have certified scrum master, if you have some work experience, and then we have scaled agile fundamentals where you can work on an agile team. But nonetheless, those, those, those are really, really hot right now. They're not hot right now, Mario, they're on fire. Okay. So kind of an add on to that, Dennis, can, can you give folks a sense for, and, and I know it varies by, by the various topics, but how long are some of these programs? Are some of them one day? Is it a four hour or is it a four day? What, can you just give us a few examples so people get oh, a sense? Thank you for asking, Marty. Great question. I forgot the obvious. Our training runs anywhere from two to five days in length. And it's typically a nine to five schedule, like a Monday through Friday. Think of corporate training. Now, that means it could pivot to two nights a week from 6 to 10, and that's equivalent to one calendar day, or it could be Saturdays only. Most of our training is three to five days in length. Take, for example, the project manager course. That's five days, 40 hours of training, and that's either five days in a row or five Saturdays, for example. Mm. Okay. Um, another question, if, again, if anybody's got a question, please chat it in now, um, is on average, uh, Dennis, 
from the time that somebody submits their uh, their application for the WIOA grant, how long is it taking for them to be given that grant? Great question. Um, we'll deep dive it on my webinar, but it, it's, it averages about six weeks. It could take a little bit longer, go a little bit quicker. It's based on the funding level of the workforce agency. It's also based on based on their staffing levels, but you can actually control that process. I, I won't go deep here, but for example, uh, um, you would need some identification, a, a, a proof that you're a U.S. citizen. That's not hard to do, right? Things of that nature. We'll talk about that uh, when we get down to the weeds, so to speak. But think of it about six weeks. So here we are, let's say you applied today, January 25th. Most of you would be in training second or third week of March if you were if you had your application in today. And there, we, we have ways to kind of navigate that, but great question, Marty. Okay. All right, I don't see any other questions coming in. I'm just gonna uh, just kind of close out with a few things, just as quick reminders. For those of you that may not yet be members of NSCNG, I encourage you to do so. Just go to the website, um, if you are not yet connected with me on LinkedIn, send me a LinkedIn connection and I'll give you access to my 30,000 connections on, on the platform. Um, also join our LinkedIn group, check out all the video and podcast interviews that I've done over the, the last several years, see the upcoming events, look at the, you know, the recordings that are available. And of course the job search coaching that I do again, as a quick reminder, this is the next upcoming event. It's going to take place on Thursday, February 15th. It'll be a three-hour session on my What the Hell Approach to Job Search. I'm throwing in an additional recording of 40 minutes on how to build out a target company list. Everybody needs to do that. And there's a 30% discount um, on all the workshops between now and the end of February. If for some reason you feel you could use some additional help, job search coaching is the biggest piece of what NSENG does, and I do it all personally myself. Um, I've got job search coaching packages that are available to you in addition to the one-on-one, -on -one, you know, personalized custom coaching where I'm doing all the work for you and I can cater it to whatever your needs might be. If this is something of interest to you, please just send me an, uh, an email and I'll have a free exploratory conversation with you. And, and here's the contact information, okay, for, for Dennis and for myself. If you've got an interest in the WIOA program, please go right to that website that we've got there where we've got the landing page set up at microtrain.net forward slash NSENG. If you have any needs other than training that are job search related, then please feel free to reach out directly to me and go to our website. Take advantage of the of the free you know, membership if you haven't done so yet. Um, and, and look at the library of webinar and workshop recordings. And if you do you know, have an interest in uh, potential coaching, please feel free to reach out to me as well. So again, Dennis, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to explain the program to folks. I hope everybody understands um, just how nice this is because it's going to cost you nothing um, and a little bit of your time to, you know, to put together the application that Dennis's team will help you with. Um, Dennis, any closing comments that you want to share? Yeah, with I just want to remind everybody, go to that slash NSYNC page. I need your resume and I'm going to make a, I cleared my calendar. I will call every one of you tomorrow. I'm, I'm on this. We're going to get this figured out. I cannot thank enough, everybody enough for your time. I, I, I'm so, so excited to help you get trained, get certified and indirectly get hired. Right. All right. Thank Thanks you, so much, Dennis. Thanks to all of you who participated in, in this program this evening and all the best to you in your job search. Take care. Thank you.